Meet Dr. Diogo Silva and Maria Duarte. Dr. Silva is a pediatric orthopedic surgeon specializing in spinal disorders in a hospital in Portugal. Maria is his patient, a bright, cheerful and active six-year-old little girl, diagnosed with early onset scoliosis, or EOS, when she was just four and a half years old. When Dr. Silva first met Maria and her family, his foremost challenge was to find the right words to explain Maria's condition and establish an open and trusting relationship with both her and her parents. To help him overcome this hurdle, Dr. Silva has been an enthusiastic adopter of the Josephine Explains Scoliosis campaign. Josephine the giraffe, known as Jo to her friends, is the official Medtronic spokes character for children with spinal deformities. She reveals their problems, helping reassure them they aren't alone and providing opportunities for identification and reflection. Her story is the story of the patients, social exclusion, effects on self-esteem, and the need to accept who you are. Dr. Silva uses the Big Josephine model as an educational aid to explain the problems with Maria's spine in a visual way, making a confusing subject much easier to grasp. And little Maria is thrilled to go home with her own little stuffed Josephine toy, the booklet telling her story, and even a DVD with the story of a little girl like herself. She couldn't wait to take little Jo to school for all her friends to meet her. As Maria's curve has been progressing, now at 59 degrees, despite a year of closely followed bracing treatment, Dr. Silva advises her parents to pursue a surgical treatment. The goal of the surgery is to allow Maria to grow as much as possible and develop a normal respiratory function while preventing the progression of her deformity. Because Maria doesn't present any associated syndromes or conditions, she has favorable growth potential. In order to give Maria the most normal childhood possible, Dr. Silva and her parents chose the Schiller Growth Guidance System. They decided on Schiller because the procedure helps correct the deformity in all planes during the initial surgery, and then guides the spine to grow at its own pace in the right direction without the need for repeat surgeries. And fewer surgeries means less risk of infection, less visits to the hospital, and more time to play. For both Dr. Silva and the Duartes, it seems like the right choice. It is now surgery day for Maria. She arrived at the hospital last night and insisted her little Josephine had to come with her to the theater. Dr. Silva is ready to operate. He's experienced with the surgical technique and he makes sure his team is well informed of his operative plan for Maria. However, the procedure offers a multitude of challenges. When Maria is ready for surgery, Dr. Silva opens her skin from T3 to L2 according to his planning. He exposes the apical levels T8 to T10 completely and prepares them for pedicle screw insertion. In small patients, it is even more critical to control blood loss during the procedure, so Dr. Silva makes extensive use of the Aquamantis system, a patented mix of radiofrequency energy and saline that significantly enhances coagulation and reduces blood loss, hence reducing the risk for Maria to require a blood transfusion. Dr. Silva performs facetectomies at the apical levels to increase the mobility of Maria's spine and ensure he can later perform a good correction of her curve. At this stage, Dr. Silva is concerned about his level of precision while performing the facetectomies. He chooses to use powered Midas burrs that offer him a more subtle approach by carefully burring away the cortical bone. Now that the apical screws are in place, Dr. Silva performs the most delicate part of the procedure inserting the proximal and distal screws. The challenge here is to insert the screws without damaging the spinal structures in order to avoid spontaneous fusion where the spine still needs to grow. For minimally invasive approaches, Dr. Silva uses the O-arm imaging and stealth station navigation systems. Navigating the trajectory of these screws reduces the need for visual landmarks so he can spare more of the anatomy while ensuring accurate screw placement in Maria's tiny pedicles. All the screws are now in place. The final challenge is correcting Maria's deformity by derotating the apex of the curve. The tools available with the Schiller system include apical derotators to increase lever and spread the load across all apical levels. In order to perform the correction maneuver in the safest way possible, Dr. Silva constantly monitors Maria's neurologic function using the NIM Eclipse, an intraoperative neuromonitoring system. Today, Dr. Silva requested the support of a neurophysiologist in his team, even though he feels comfortable using the system's surgeon-directed mode on his own. 
Once he is satisfied with his correction, Dr. Silva places the rods and locks them in place at the apex, while using the special non-locking set screws at the proximal and distal ends to allow the rods to slide in the screws and let Maria's spine keep growing. The surgery went smoothly. Thanks to the Schiller Growth Guidance System and the accompanying surgical technology solutions, Maria is able to play outside with her friends again after a short time in recovery. And her parents are happy knowing she has fewer surgeries to undergo. As for Dr. Silva, the Medtronic procedural offering gives him an edge to take on any challenges the procedure might throw his way. For a listing of indications, contraindications, precautions, warnings and potential adverse events, please refer to the instructions for use.